Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Well, from the hot deals to the hot days of summer, <laughs> actually not so hot today. Yeah, it certainly doesn't feel like Christmas in July. It just feels oh. like July. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just in the middle of summer here. But we did do a little better today because we had some cloud cover, uh, and uh, that resulted in temperatures not going completely uh, out of hand, although the feels like numbers were still in the triple digits. Just a balmy night here in uh, South Florida. No uh, huge uh, uh, news there with temperatures in the 80s right now. It feels like the 90s with the steam out there, but we're going to get a little help. I think the next few days, the uh, feels like temperatures aren't going to be as high as uh, we've had them. 94 is what it feels like in Miami right now. Not much of the way of rainfall here, just an east flow that brings morning showers and afternoon storms. But by the time the storms hit, they're on the other side of the coast. We are going to have limited coverage for the next few days before we start increasing moisture, and that will result in uh, higher rain coverage by the time we get into uh, the weekend. Nothing concerning about the weekend right now, just uh, Certainly, uh, rain chances are going to go up from where we will be the next uh, couple of days, which will be drier and still warm, but it's seasonably warm. So highs the next few days will be low 90s, typical highs 91. So I don't think we're going to stray too far from that, but the humidity that can sometimes even with 91 be up to 110 plus not going to be there. So we're going to have a little bit uh, of a break the next few days. The heat indices won't be as intolerable as they uh, can be. There are the showers uh, through the morning hours. There are the thunderstorms by the afternoon as they blow from uh, east to west and uh, Naples uh, once again getting in on the action there. You'll see some showers Monday or Wednesday morning and then once again through the afternoon. So really nothing unusual, nothing too exciting in the uh, weather department here. That's always good. Quiet as can be as far as the atmospheric moisture available. So even the showers that develop don't put down to significant rain, but that starts changing. We get some deeper blues in here and eventually some purples by the end of the weekend. And that is pretty much tropical air mass. And that will set us up for a higher chance of showers and storms. And those that develop uh, will be uh, better rainmakers in the tropics. Pretty quiet here. Name storm frequency. We are here halfway through the month of July already, you know, and get through July and uh, we're looking good. The problem is, you know, it's August where things really just ramp up and we're going to start getting storm after storm here and uh, that is still hasn't changed. The forecast is still for a uh, well above average season. There are the uh, showers and storms, but nothing organized across the uh, western Atlantic. High pressure still pumping in a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of desert air here coming in with that Saharan plume that's coming at us and uh, keeping things quiet in the Atlantic. All right, for temperatures tomorrow and the uh, forecast for the next seven days, rain chances going up heading into the weekend.